Today we leave the tranquil embrace of Alftavatn and set our sights on Emstrur. The trail promises new challenges and ever-changing landscapes, each step taking us deeper into the heart of Iceland's wild highlands. Not far from the lake, the first test of the day awaits, a river crossing. The water glimmers in the morning light, its icy chill a sharp reminder of the glaciers that feed these streams. As the sun climbs higher, it bathes the landscape in golden light, and we continue forward, eager to see what lies ahead. The path from Alftavatn to Emstrur is a journey through contrasts, dark volcanic deserts that stretch endlessly, interrupted by vibrant green moss clinging to life against all odds. Step by step, we venture deeper into this untamed wilderness. in this inhospitable terrain. In the distance, glaciers glimmer faintly, their icy presence a reminder of nature's grandeur and power. Nearby, a hidden wonder awaits. The trail leads us to Markerfliot's Glufor, a canyon carved deep into the earth by the relentless force of water. Standing at its edge, we are struck by the scale of it. A yawning chasm that seems to stretch endlessly. Far below, the Markerfliot River snakes through the canyon. After hours of trekking, the Emstrur hut comes into view. A small haven nestled in this raw, volcanic land. Cups of hot coffee and bowls of porridge fuel our bodies. Trail from Emstrur to Thorsmerk stretches out before us. The air feels different this morning, alive with expectation and the scent of adventure. quickly descends into deep canyons, 
carved by glacial rivers over millennia. Each step brings us closer to the valley below, where the wilderness feels both vast and intimate. We cross over narrow bridges, their wooden planks creaking underfoot. Each step a small triumph against the wild elements. Rivers thread through the trail like veins of silver, their icy waters rushing with glacial force. And we press on, drawn by the pull of the horizon. The final river lay before us, a barrier of icy water carved by glaciers far above. Beyond it lay Thor's Mork, the sanctuary of Thor, the end of our epic trek. Its current was swift, its chill biting, yet it marked the last great challenge of our journey. The first step into the water was a shock, a piercing cold that stole your breath. The rocks beneath our feet were slippery and sharp demanding careful balance and unyielding focus. The river tested our resolve. Soaked but triumphant, we looked back at the rushing waters, a final reminder of the wild power of this land. From there, the landscape began to change. The stark beauty of black sands and volcanic plains gave way to the lush, verdant forests of Thorsmork. Here, Nature softened its edges, welcoming us with towering birches, moss-covered rocks, and the sweet scent of blooming wildflowers. Every step brought us closer to the heart of this sanctuary. The air was warmer here, the trail gentler, as if the land itself offered a quiet reward for our perseverance. And then, we were there. Thorsmork, the end of our journey. A place that felt like it belonged to another world the perfect culmination of days spent traversing Iceland's raw, untamed wilderness. Here, in this sacred valley named for the God of Thunder, we let the weight of the trail fall away. The struggles of river crossings, rocky paths, and long miles faded, replaced by the quiet satisfaction of a journey completed. The trail may have ended, but its magic stays with us, a reminder of Iceland's untamed beauty and the power of our own spirit to conquer, endure, and embrace the wild unknown.